here. Welcome. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest died at age 21, went to heaven, had downloaded into his spirit information that he would need the rest of his life, and he's starting to reveal this information. First thing he revealed is he announced before it happened that the Pope would resign, the exact year he would resign, and the exact month he would resign. Now God has unraveled to him information involving the end times, science, and the supernatural all coming together, and it reads like the books of Revelation. Yeah. Is there a supernatural dimension, a world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. I do supernatural shows, yeah. but I mean, this show is, <laughs> if the edge is here, it's way down there. <laughs> so we, we have uh, Tom Horn, who many of you are familiar with, and uh, Tom is a tremendous Bible teacher, uh, a prophecy expert, uh, and uh, we also have Sharon Gilbert. Uh, she's the scientist in the group. She's the molecular biologist and an expert in prophecy. Uh, Sharon, let me start with you. So, so how, how does the science and prophecy merge? How do they come together? Well, it's all over the Bible, but honestly, my feeling is if you don't understand prophecy first, you don't study the Bible, know exactly what the Lord's done in the past and what He's told us He's going to do now and in the very near future. It's clear that there's a lot of science involved. Mankind is going to change in some way. And if you go back to the book of Genesis in Genesis 6, we know that there was an incursion that altered man's DNA. That may have been done through direct intervention by fallen angels. Now human beings are for whatever reason, being led to do something very similar. It's, it's very important that we understand the science. But, but you know what? Here's what I see as, as I'm reading these notes is, yes, the science is doing these things, but the same evil supernatural uh, that did this stuff uh, just before the flood uh, to humankind, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be intermingled with this so-called science. Uh, Tom Horn, how, how long have you been researching this subject? Oh, well, it uh, started probably about 10 years ago, but in earnest about five years uh, ago. What, and so, what is transhumanism? Well, transhumanism is the idea that we are now at a point in our technological development that we can use very powerful emerging fields of technology like uh, genetics, robotics, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, cybernetics, all the kind of stuff that maybe we'll get to talk about uh, today. But we're going to use them to take mankind into the next step in our evolution. Transhumanism believes that we no longer have to wait on this very slow, gradual process of Darwinian evolution, which might require hundreds of thousands of years or millions of years if you buy that idea, and many of them do because many of them are atheists, um, that we don't have to wait any longer. Now we can take the bull by the horns. We can start modifying ourselves. We can create Homo sapien 2.0, right? A better version of humanity than the one that God made. And that really, in a nutshell, is the idea behind transhumanism. Now, uh, let's define some terms. Okay. Germ line editing. What right. is that? 
Germline editing actually has the potential to fulfill what the early eugenics movement wanted to do in that when you make modifications to your genetics at the germline mm -hmm. level, this is the earliest level, sperm, eggs, very early embryos, it becomes a permanent part of the genetic makeup and will be passed forward to all future generations. So if you start making germline modification, especially if you're using transgenic sciences. Now here again, you might be surprised to know that right here in North Carolina at your university, they have what's called a transgenic lab. Mm -hmm. Which and means? Which means that they have mice that are part human, humanized mm -hmm. mice, trans really? transgenic animals. And you can go there and purchase mm -hmm. those in order to do experiments, maybe you're mm -hmm. wanting to test a new drug therapy or whatever, and you can't get a license from the FDA to test it on a human, so you get a transgenic animal that's got human genetic material in it, you test it on that, and you see if the human parts of that animal are responding. You know, you know, but, but it's one thing to experiment with animals. It's another thing to experiment with humans. Yeah. But, but most of these scientists don't see you and I and Tom as any different from any other animals. They see human beings as part of an animal evolutionary process. They're wrong, but that's how they see us. Well, this is going to create, just as we have so many divisions in America, racial divisions, political divisions, Mm -hmm. There's going to be a big divide on this, the uh, a divide between Christians that understand what you're saying and, and, uh, and say, the, the average public that says, oh, they're going to cure cancer. Do it. Yeah. That bothers me much less than the divide that is coming when we start talking about war fighters who are something like a werewolf. And that may sound so outlandish, so astonishing as to be unbelievable, and yet it is exactly what the top advisory panels in the world are communicating right now to our Department of Defense and so on. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's uh, presidentially approved budget, which people can look up and read for themselves, has tens of millions of dollars in it for creating a new genetic blueprint for humanity. So this is already being budgeted in the United States military. Well, you know what this sounds like? But it's a spin you've never heard before. It sounds like we are told in the Bible it will be like the days of Noah. We focused on other things like the days of Noah. But do you know why it was the days of Noah? Do you know why God had the flood? The same thing was going on. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Science may have just opened the gates of hell. Call now and get Tom Horn's The End Time Revelation Package, which includes his two-part, three-hour DVD expose, Inhuman, the next and final phase of Man is Here, plus his book, Forbidden Gates, and two bonus internet downloads, a 13-week Bible study, The Forbidden Gates Workbook and Teacher's Guide, plus a PDF download of his book, Spiritual Warfare, The Invisible Invasion, all yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9385. Tom Horn exposes how the scientific community in league with government entities are trying to replace the creator's role, acting like they are God, thinking it will lead to good. But actually, they are playing into the hands of Satan, who is plotting the destruction of humanity as we know it. You will find out through this eye-opening prophetic package. Scientists are wanting to literally redefine what it means to be a human. Transhumanism will become the norm, not the exception. This could allow dictators of countries to rule with an iron grip beyond their physical lifespan. The U.S. Pentagon is concerned with China and Russia, who are experimenting with genetic modification of superhuman soldiers on the battlefield. 666 Update. The Mark of the Beast could be the new digital tattoos that will store medical information and allow you to buy or sell and do all your financial transactions. It will also be used for tracking your every movement. Science and technology are crossing the line of God's divine order of creation. You will learn that the scientific community, along with world governments, want to rewrite human genetics, combining human and animal DNA, and interfacing our brains with artificial intelligence. This must-have prophetic package not 
only informs you with what is happening, but you will be equipped with the weapons of spiritual warfare to come against the forces of darkness and therefore protect your children and grandchildren for generations to come. Plus, you will receive this free bonus material. Download Tom Horn's powerful 13-week Bible study, Forbidden Gates, Teachers and Leaders Guide. Great for sermons and Bible study. Download Tom Horn's book, Spiritual Warfare, The Invisible Invasion. Fully understand spiritual warfare and how to pray. Don't miss out on getting Tom Horn's The End Time Revelation Package, which includes his two-part, three-hour DVD expose, Inhuman, the next and final phase of Man is Here, plus his book, Forbidden Gates, and two bonus internet downloads, a 13-week Bible study, The Forbidden Gates Workbook and Teacher's Guide, plus a PDF download of his book, Spiritual Warfare, The Invisible Invasion, all yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 93. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9385 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Uh, okay, Tom. I, I brought up a subject like the days of Noah. What, what do you see that means based on everything you know? The days of Noah, well, certainly, uh, first of all, for those that may not know, this is from when uh, our Lord's closest disciples in Matthew 24, they go to him and they say, Lord, tell us. Now, this is the upside to this, right? Mm -hmm. What shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the aeon. That's the hallelujah side of what we're talking about here, right? The end of the age. And he gives them, yeah, he gives them a list of things that are going to come. And then he concludes by saying, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the coming of the Son of Man. So what was going on in the days of Noah? Well, what we do know is that around the world... And this story is consistent. We get it from the Hebrew Bible, and that's the authoritative text, right? If the rest of the world disagreed, I wouldn't care, right? They got it from the Bible. <laughs> but, in fact, every ancient culture that had any methodology for keeping records told the story of the time when the gods, the pagans called them, when the gods came down to the earth and they took wives. The, you know, the Egyptians talk about this. Uh, the Greeks talk about Zeus coming down and marrying a woman. And, and, and we, we chalk it up to mythology, not really true. Well, the point is they were all telling an ancient consistent story that does harmonize with what the Bible and the contemporary books of the Bible uh, that are sometimes like the book of Enoch, which was quoted by Peter and Jude in the New Testament. And, and actually the parts that Peter and Jude are quoting in the New Testament are taken from this very story. Those angels which kept not their first estate. That's the story. They came down to the earth and they viewed genetics as a methodology for them to incarnate themselves in a new form of humanity, an illegal form of half man, half something else, right? And immediately came a judgment. And brother, does it raise all kinds of ethical questions? Because people are asking us today, mm -hmm. uh, at what point do you genetically modify a human so that it's questionable about whether they even have a soul? Well, we, I don't even want to think about that question, right? I don't want to think about that. So that begs the question. Someone that uh, is, is messed with their genes can they then be saved? It's a scary thought. I, I frankly don't even want to think about the fact that we are budgeting right now to begin this kind of research on some of our, and they'll volunteer, volunteer soldiers who will volunteer to have their genetic material altered uh, so that they can be experiments on the battlefield. But our military at every branch, the Department of Defense, the Pentagon, DARPA, all of them have published public records recently in which they have said whether we like this or not, we have to go down this road because if we don't, those who already are developing the technology are going to use it to dominate us on the battlefield. So people are looking forward to what they're calling the technological singularity. And that's a phrase that a famous transhumanist and futurist by the name of Ray Kurzweil 
made famous. Most people know him. He wrote the book, The Age of Spiritual Machines. And he originally prognosticated that by the year 2045, uh, AI would become immortal. It will become a synthetic deity. It will become a synthetic god. Artificial intelligence, yes. AI, yeah. will become uh, a substitute for God. Well, and that's to answer your question, how does this seem like the days of Noah? Because for the first time since the great flood, we have intentionally set course to repeat what history only says ever happened once before, and it led to the great flood. It led to the destruction. But there are leading transhumanists in the world that are excited about the possibility that by changing our brain chemistry and our genetic makeup, we could put ourselves into contact with what Christians call the supernatural realm. Leading transhumanists, Nick Bostrom is one of the most famous transhumanists in the world, teaches at Oxford University, earned his PhD by writing his thesis on transhumanist values, and go to his website and read his own paper where he says, by combining ourselves with the animal kingdom, we will begin opening modes of perception because serpents can see into areas of the light spectrum using infrared, which we cannot see. Uh, you know, bats can fly using sonar. Dolphins can hear at 80,000 hertz. And so they're seeing all these as kind of superhuman benefits that we could acquire. But he, he mentions opening a door to to maybe some other intelligence that is there. And there are transhumanists. By the way, there's now a Christian transhumanist society. There's a Mormon transhumanist society. Uh, and at Arizona State University, they have been funding a whole series, the Templeton Foundation, on what's called transhumanism and religion, talking about how transhumanism is going to modify what we think we know about God. Hold and that thought. <laughs> when we come back, uh, this is recent, almost some of this is just off the press. Things that are going on just, just in the last few months that verify what he's saying and much worse. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. We now return to It's Supernatural. Okay, I have some of these uh, recent reports here, which are amazing to me. Uh, uh, they, something called the Washington Summit, uh, they voted for something. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, actually, that goes again to this CRISPR-Cas9 technology. We're almost at a point of, of point and click, you know, like almost like using a mouse to make modification to human genes. And it's almost like if you've used a word processor and you have the, mm -hmm. the find and replace yep. key, and you know how you can say find the word you and replace it with the word your or whatever, and you hit that and it goes mm -hmm. through the whole document. Mm -hmm. Well, CRISPR-Cas9 is kind of like that. It's designed, go into the DNA strands, find a particular genetic uh, a series of numbers, clip it out like a pair mm -hmm. of high-tech scissors yep. and replace it with new genetic information and put the strands back together. You have that machine with you. Yeah. Show me it. Is it called the CRISPR machine? Yeah, well, it's... Oh, it's just a little kit. Yeah. So imagine that the world right now is in an uproar over a science kit no bigger than that. Small. Yeah, and, she, and again, she could explain how it works, but here's what you should know. That technology can accomplish what the eugenicists of the early century wanted to do. That technology is being used right now to rewrite 
human genetic makeup at the germline level. Imagine if the Antichrist has his hands on this kind of technology. Maybe that explains why, with such impunity, people are beheaded and killed, treated like animals during the Great Tribulation period because they have literally engineered an army of individuals who are not like you and I. They don't well, well, we've seen like the ISIS people are cutting off heads. And, and, and I say to myself when right. I see that, how could a human do that? Right. Well, you've just answered how a human could do that. Right. It's not a human. And by the way, one reason why I brought this with me is to make the point that if Tom Horn, an old fat preacher, can get his hands on an advanced CRISPR-Cas9 gene knockout kit, you better believe that terrorists have their hands on this yeah. technology. Wow. Uh, now, you sent my staff a picture of, of something called a digital Tattoo. Oh, yeah. Explain what that is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually brought, brought them with me right here. This is 10 flexible tattoos. I could take one of those and I put it on the back side of the palm of my hand or on my mm -hmm. hand, and I take my smartphone and I tap it to that tattoo. What it does is it authenticates me by causing that to create a vein pattern, a blood vein pattern in my hand, which then becomes my biometric marker. So, so you may not be able to buy or sell unless well, you do that, according actually, to the book I read. The Real ID Act, which anybody can read about right now here in the United States, is calling for a biometric identification system before you can enter into any federal building. It's the kind of technology they're talking about to secure the borders. It's the kind of technology for boarding okay. a plane. How does this tie in with things we read in the book of Revelation, like the beast? Right. First of all, remember what it says. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. I think that the technological singularity mm -hmm. might actually be the moment yeah. when we give life to the image of the beast. Because the moment when the AI develops a conscious when suddenly it thinks it is an I am that I am. You're saying when a machine thinks that it's real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, Can when, think for itself? Yeah, yeah, it becomes sentient. And then there's a, even one beyond that, super AI. Yeah, super. And that is the I am. Artificial intelligence, yeah. Yeah. AI. Hugo de Garris, who is one of the most famous transhumanists in the world, he believes that we are very close now to that I am that I am moment. So what you're saying, though, is that a machine that's been built to help humanity will become a new form of humanity. There are many true Bible believers yes. that are watching us. I want you to look in the camera and tell them what to do okay. about this information. Okay, I will tell them what to do. Get uh, at least a basic knowledge about the genetics revolution, uh, about biotechnology. And then don't forget this. Don't forget to pray. Mm -hmm. I always say this because I often imagine my little grandmother from many years ago sitting in a room saying, well, I, it's so far above my head, I can't really understand this, or I don't have the money to buy the product, or I, I'm, not, I, I'm crippled and I can't go to church to be a part of the Sunday school class. Don't forget to pray. During the, during, you know, uh, during the time that the reformers were being persecuted, Mary, Queen of Scots, said she feared the prayers of John Knox more than all the armies of England. So don't forget that prayer does change things. Amen. 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 And don't forget this. Right. The move of God that I see and, and, and that Tom sees and many of my friends see, it's actually upon us right now. We're coming into a time where I want to take my TV cameras in a hospital uh, of veterans without limbs. And I want, in the name of Jesus, the entire missing limb to just grow right out. And I want that to be on the 6 p.m., 7 p.m. news. You pick it. You, I, I want God to show up and show off that there's no time for this nonsense that, 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 is, that, that the devil is trying to un undermine all of humanity. You know, the devil is dumb. He doesn't know about one believer that's walking in the power of God and it's supernatural is raising up an army of believers that are walking in this supernatural God. And whether you know it or not, you're one. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you're not just alone. 
The Creator of the universe lives in you, and He's going to start giving you revelation of the Word of God, and you are going to start doing the same things Jesus did and even greater. So I commission you, raise your head, don't be fearful, and charge! (laughs) Science may have just opened the gates of hell. Can it be that we are rushing into an end time scenario straight out of science fiction movies like The Terminator, an unprecedented time where humans are engineered in a test tube by cybernetics, bioengineering, nanotechnology, and artificial intelligence? Can this newly created breed of the human species be used to supplement armies of superhumans who can be manipulated by unseen forces, even the Antichrist himself, ushering in the tribulation and ultimately the apocalypse? Call now and get Tom Horn's The End Time Revelation Pack which includes his two-part, three-hour DVD expose, Inhuman, the next and final phase of Man is Here, plus his book, Forbidden Gates, and two bonus internet downloads, a 13-week Bible study, The Forbidden Gates workbook and teacher's guide, plus a PDF download of his book, Spiritual Warfare, The Invisible Invasion, all yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9385. Tom Horn exposes how the scientific community in league with government entities are trying to replace the Creator's role, acting like they are God, thinking it will lead to good. But actually, they are playing into the hands of Satan, who is plotting the destruction of humanity as we know it. You will find out through this eye-opening prophetic package. Scientists are wanting to literally redefine what it means to be a human. Transhumanism will become the norm, not the exception. This could allow dictators of countries to rule with an iron grip beyond their physical lifespan. The U.S. Pentagon is concerned with China and Russia, who are experimenting with genetic modification of superhuman soldiers on the battlefield. 666 Update. The mark of the beast could be the new digital tattoos that will store medical information and allow you to buy or sell and do all your financial transactions. It will also be used for tracking your every movement. Science and technology are crossing the line of God's divine order of creation. You will learn that the scientific community, along with world governments, want to rewrite human genetics, combining human and animal DNA and interfacing our brains with artificial intelligence. This must-have prophetic package not only informs you with what is happening, but you will be equipped with the weapons of spiritual warfare to come against the forces of darkness and therefore protect your children and grandchildren for generations to come. Plus, you will receive this free bonus material. Download Tom Horn's powerful 13-week Bible study, Forbidden Gates, Teachers and Leaders Guide. Great for sermons and Bible study. Download Tom Horn's book, Spiritual Warfare, The Invisible Invasion. Fully understand spiritual warfare and how to pray. Don't miss out on getting Tom Horn's The End Time Revelation Package, which includes his two-part, three-hour DVD expose, Inhuman, the next and final phase of Man is Here, plus his book, Forbidden Gates, and two bonus internet downloads, a 13-week Bible study, The Forbidden Gates Workbook and Teacher's Guide, plus a PDF download of his book, Spiritual Warfare, The Invisible Invasion, all yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 93. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9385 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Is it possible with some of the things that you're going through that it is going to result in you walking in miracles? My guest says yes, and she has the miracles to prove it.